Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex. I'm here with Jacob after a 1-1 draw against Man City. First of all, what did you think was going to happen in this game and what did you think of what you saw? I thought he was going to lose 3-1, thought it was going to get battered. No, it didn't happen, but it doesn't mean that I'm happy. Like, Listen, first off, we were good, yeah, we won, I was so happy. But, but then, doing, just right? to put, to make the decision, just to bring on loads of defenders, up the chills, just to bring on loads of like bring on like Chalba, no need in that situation. Then he brings Casadai on, right? Not being funny. One 0 it, it felt it felt like Chelsea. It was sort of working for the last few games. Then you change. Then you add another midfielder to the mix. Like now, like doesn't make no sense to me. Yeah. And you know, um, people are really happy with the result. And um, fair enough. Like we've gone through a lot as football Chelsea fans. But I'm frustrated at the end of the day. And I think it's a bit of putch tax. When what I mean by that is you will get results every now and again. You'll get you will get wins at times, but you, he's a bit of a bottle of bottles. Yeah. Okay. Um j just before we go into the next segment, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor for this video, Match Bingo. Guys, if you haven't clicked the link below, you haven't downloaded the app. I highly recommend you do. You may have missed this game, but you won't miss the next one, guys. You've got to be 18 or over to play. I promise you, you won't regret it. Click the link below, check it out. Um, now, Jacob, the thing is, though, the, th the thing that I struggled to understand, and I understand you could say Potts bottled it, but ultimately, it's a point where nobody expected it. Yeah, but it's a point that, like, look... Yeah, we and, and he was the one who set us up. It was once, I actually think it was more the players today. I feel like there was a lot of urgency. Mm. When you look at that sassy, Gallagher, even, I know J at times Jackson was coming for it. Yeah. Like, there was a bit lack of urgency, in, uh, which, I, which I like, but I think there was the players that did the well, and I think the manager let us down. Look, like, why did you just put all the defenders? It's literally, when you let him play, and the fact is, how they didn't score earlier was a miracle. Mm. But Haaland... He hasn't got the best record against Chelsea necessarily. Yeah. So I am I am relieved it didn't it didn't go worse. But you know what? I do think we wouldn't be the only team that would have probably been one 0 up in this situation. Yeah. I don't think they were great in the first half. But then they came did what they good did what they're good at, but I don't think they they can't have been that good, Jacob. They only scored one goal. No, you see, that's that's where that's I'm against, coming from. And that's against Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but you just look at it and you're just yeah. like, Rodri pings a ball, the midfield's just, it's, it's just a whole new level for yeah. us, really. I mean, you've got to respect the players, even with or without uh, manager or tactics, who knows? I don't, um, I don't take anybody for the players today, because you know what? We gave them a fight today, and you know what? I liked what I saw. I think I, I'm blaming the manager for... for um, when we um, obviously it was a, ended up being a draw, not a win. Yeah. Um, fair enough. I like. I, I think Jackson on the wings working a little bit yeah. to it's some extent. It's nice because he tracks back as well. Yeah, it's like a Timo Werner situation. Yeah. But you know what? I looked at him a couple of months ago. I sort of knew. I sort of knew. I didn't think they'd do it, but I was thinking, is this the sort of thing where it's a bit <laughs> silly to say it, or is it just like one of my thoughts? But I think I might have been right. But like, oh so tired but I look I'm happy we didn't lose but could have but we, uh, I think with us how we set up in the first half it should have been a win and I think fans I think people are getting quite overhyped and they're quite now listen I'm not saying I don't think fans should be disappointed with anything but the manager but you know what at least we didn't lose at least we didn't lose and, and that, that's something um, do you think we can get anything against Liverpool in the final? Has, has anything you've seen over the past few games changed your mind? Listen, my heart says yes, but reality says it. Probably not. Hopefully. I'm not ruling it out, but if I was to do a score prediction, right, and I was to sort of predict the game, I'd probably go 2 3 1 Liverpool. Listen, I don't think in the final, with all we've suffered of, these players wouldn't give a fight. And I think it'd be one of the better games we played all season. Because I think these players are actually going to be like, look, we've. And even the manager, we put these fans through so much. Just we, we got to go and try and get a win. But just listen, I hope, I hope we win. But is in reality probably one. Thank you very much, Jacob. Always a pleasure. Come on then.